Okay, I've added a few BR tags so that there can be some space between my efforts here. And now I'm going to, we're going to talk about making some text change with JavaScript. Here we created an alert, but now we're going to do some text changing. So we'll begin with a paragraph tag. And I always shut the door right away. I hope you do too now. And I'm going to say change this text. I need to give this paragraph an ID. The reason I need to give it an ID is because when I write my JavaScript and I ask it to change this text, I need it to know which paragraph I want it to change. So I'll give it ID equals, and this can be anything. Um, I'll just call it change me. So P ID equals change me and change this text. Now underneath it, I'm going to add a button for someone to click in order to change the text. So I'll begin with the button tag. I'll give it a type of button. And let's give it the same text. Click me. Saved. So now we have what we need. Let's take a look at it live. We've got this click me that brings an alert, hello world. And we've got this click me, but it's not doing anything yet. We're going to begin by adding the on click attribute. So the on click attribute, it's understood that anything you type within these quote marks is JavaScript. So what I'm going to ask this attribute to do is to access a part of my document. So I'm going to say document dot. Then I'm going to say get element by ID. This is written in camel case. It will be in parentheses. So, so far, I've got the button, I've got the on click demand that I'm asking it to do on this click. I want you to get the paragraph by ID. What's the ID? It's change me. So let me put that in there. And now in order to access this part and change it, I need to access the inner HTML. So let's try dot inner html you can see i can just click that there and here i'll put my equal sign with a couple of spaces around it and then in single quote marks what do i want this text to change to how about holy cow i've changed now I'll add my single quote and oops, I see that I forgot to put quote marks here, single quotes, because JavaScript format is important. So I just changed this to holy cow, I have changed. And the reason I did that was because when I said I've changed, the single apostrophe was being mistaken for the end of this quote. Let's save this and see how it works. Click! There it is. Holy cow, I have changed. So now we've got two things. An alert, which I can dismiss with the OK. If I refresh this page, click to change text. Two pieces of JavaScript that are fun to know.